Hi, and today we're going to have a look at the new remote to remote source joins inside of Hasura. We'll notice that we have an empty schema to begin with, and we'll start by adding our first remote source that is a locally hosted store model that includes items, orders, and things of that type. Next, we'll add our warehousing or fulfillment API that includes things like fulfillment of those orders. Now we will define a relationship between these two services so that we can actually store the order information on the fulfillment itself. This reduces the amount of round trips and plumbing that we have to take care of within our applications. We'll define the input arguments here as the order ID from the order field. And just like that, we have orders on our fulfillment type. Let's run that query. Now we'll have a look at applying permissions to this model. Here we've added a bearer token that has zero permissions for this remote API. Let's add those now for the role clerk, which is identified inside of our JWT. We'll extend those permissions to the store model as well. Now we can see that our clerk role has access to our entire remote schema. Let's remove one of the columns and we'll hide the quantity from the clerk's view. Here we can see that we've added that granular permission to a remote join from one service to another service, all without modifying the baseline schemas. That's the power of Hasura. Mm -hmm.